Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with your weekendly lightning collection update. I feel like we have lightning collection news almost every weekend. Realistically, it's been like two weeks, but you know what I mean. There was like a, a con event, I think it was at Barcelona or Barcelona or Bartholomew or whatever, uh, where they officially unveiled lightning collection 4 or the rest of it. I mean, last week, or like the pictures, because last week we got information. I don't know why they did it this way, actually, to be honest. It's really weird when they're like, okay, here's one picture of blue. And then we have the information on the rest of the wave, which is Blaze and SPD Red, like in the press release. And they talked about it being in fall, like that was the big deal too, is that they said it's not coming out until next fall, supposedly. Supposedly. Uh, but since they, we know they already had the pictures, I mean, I guess they were saving it for this. It also seems weird that we're getting these info at these random Comic Cons instead of the bigger ones. Although maybe they are bigger ones, and I just don't know. But anyway. They give us full pictures. I mean, we got the same picture of SPD Blue. We got a picture of SPD Red's figure, uh, which I'll have up. And then uh, also Blaze, uh, Cyber Villain Blaze. We don't have the civilian head pictures, or at least I don't as of this recording. Who knows, after this goes up, there could be civilian head pictures. They did manage to use the picture of just some random cosplayer for Jack, like they showed. Like, this is SPD Red. Here's like what the actor looks like because you know we're gonna be getting the head with it, but that it wasn't the actor, it was just a random guy that was in a cosplay with dreadlocks. They're like, oh, dreadlocks, Jack confirmed. Uh, that's racist. But I, it's kind of funny, like actually to me the most entertaining thing about the Hasbro era has been the Lightning Collection. Not just, not the figures at all, it's actually just been how they've been handled. I mean, this has been the funniest thing, I, the random picture, but then the release dates. I mean, Wave 4 is officially unveiled today, that means they're probably at your Kroger's yesterday. That's like how it happened with Wave 3. Like, I think, I think, I think I even read one of the articles when they interviewed Hasbro at one of these cons that the person that we're interviewing from Hasbro was visibly shocked to find out Wave 3 was already on store shelves when they just announced it for December, and yet they're already out, and it, it was October at the time, now it's November, uh, you know how time works, but so that's kind of funny. But yeah, we got the official looks at those. The only thing that's been confusing some people, both now obviously since we have the pictures and last week, was that supposedly MMPR Yellow was supposed to be in this wave. To be honest, I don't remember what made us think that. I mean, other than the fact that there's, we've kind of got a pattern of like, uh, the MMPR Rangers and the Reds and Six that we've discovered or whatever, uh, but also the pattern that there's been four in each wave. But back in like, July, August, whatever it was, when everyone found those listings, we found, you know, cracked the code, we knew about waves three, four, five, whatever. I can't remember what made people think that was wave four and not five or six or derf or, Maybe it was an exclusive, because I remember right, that was Walmart's site, so it could be an exclusive. Who knows, maybe it was and they nixed it or moved it or whatever, but it's definitely weird that there's not four figures. I just can't remember what made us think amongst that hodgepodge we found that it was wave four. Probably something in the code or whatever, but it's not there right now. I mean, it could change. We allegedly have a year, so who knows? I mean, I'm sure we'll still get it. I think it'll probably end up being something else, like an exclusive or something, but I don't know. I know that that was just a bit of confusion. And it, it, regardless of whether or not we found out about all those listings months ago, like I said, it is weird that this wave has only three. Maybe it's because the price is going up. I mean, we have to... We're supposedly going to have to wait a year, but you know, we know, I'm pretty sure there's going to be something else in between, which I'm going to get to something about that in just a second. But I mean, it is kind of weird because this is the next official wave that's supposed to be coming out later and it's going to be the first one under a new price increase. So maybe there's only going to be three per main wave from now on. Maybe that's the reason I'm only speculating. But speaking of a side note, uh, there was also a listing found for an MMPR Blue on Entertainment Earth just by himself. It says June release date, but then again, the... You not, might not necessarily want to put too much stock into that because the listings for, I don't know if they changed them, but the listings for Wave 3 said March. Uh, and they kept, they are adamant about fall. We'll see. We'll see. I, I'm, I'm sure it'll show up yesterday, but we'll see about that. But anyway, what do you guys think? Are you excited for the new Wave 4 figures? What do you think about all these weird new scheduling changes? I think I'm most excited for Blaze, mainly because I love the Dark Buster suit, and I really want the civilian head to put on my Red Ranger figure so I can recreate that helmetless scene from uh, later in Beast Morphers when they had uh, Blaze and Roxy in the yellow and red suits, and that we also need a, you know, a Roxy figure. That would be great. Anyway, that's about it for this one, guys. I'll keep you updated if anything else happens. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell to be notifications for my videos. Until next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.